Not everyone is a fan of the politics of Mr. Elon Musk. Uh, some love it, some hate it. Most car buyers, I would argue, really don't care and don't pay attention and just want a good car for a good price. But there is some impact. How many sales have been lost? Well, Yale's got some ideas. And if Yale's got some ideas, we need to have a chat about them. Uh, and by we, I mean me and Herbert, the brightest man I know. Uh, we're going to get into it. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, 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 oh. So, Herbert, there is this uh, real genius study that came out of Yale. I was unable to find an unpaywalled version of the study itself. But it says, it suggests that Tesla could have sold 1 million mm. more cars in the U.S. alone. Mm -hmm. Over one year? Over one year. So that's like we sold 1.8 million. And no, that's worldwide. Uh, let's look at the U.S. This is just U.S. figures. Okay, so the U.S. US is what? 700,000? So you're telling me they could have hit 1.7 million? All right. Come, come okay, on. Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, this is Yale okay. researchers. They might be right. They must be right, right? Ivy League. You can't argue with that. <laughs> Okay, Tesla see. CEO Elon Musk polarizing and partisan actions mm -hmm. may have cost the EV maker over a milli U.S. car sales. Yale research paper, uh, Yale researchers, really? It puts huge numbers around what auto analysts and pollsters have directionally believed about the business effect. Mm -hmm. Directionally, I, anecdotally, I've seen people who've said, nah, I was on the fence and now I'm off the fence. But I've also seen people who've said, uh, I bought one because I like the Cybertruck and I like the message it sends. Driving the news, the study sees a break in sales data in Democratic counties beginning in October of 22 when he bought Twitter. Zooms in on October 20, uh, 22 to April of 25. That stretch featured his many right-leaning statements, alliance with Donald Trump, and time-leading Doge. It looks to isolate Musk's pol politics from other sales drags, like an aging lineup and rising competition. Stunning well, the stats. The there actually says October 2022 to April 2025. That's when they lost 1 to 1.26 million vehicles. Mm -hmm. So it's a period of two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Three. Three years, yeah. Two I mean, years. it's buying Twitter... Boy, is was not as big of a deal as I think some of the more recent, uh, certainly during the election and shortly after the election. Yes. But by the first quarter of 25, we find that without the Musk partisan effect, Tesla monthly sales would have been about 150% mm. higher. That feels high to me, Herbert. Mm -hmm. well, so uh, let's take a look at how, what did they, how did they do the actual study? Is when the effect surveys? is aggregated over the entire period. Uh, no, I think. Let's see if it, yeah. I mean, we got to dive deep into the survey. Is it uh, double-blinded? <laughs> yeah. How accurate is this? Uh, how do they know that a U.S. sales, could, a, a person would have bought a car? How would they know? Yeah. So unfortunately, the study itself is paywalled. Uh, but I've, I was hopeful there for a second because I did try to find the study. I was unable to. Th that's an eye-popping effect, if true. Industry analysts that Axios touched base with were skeptical. Here's where we get some actual analysis. Thank you, Axios. Consider that Tesla's full year U.S. sales peaked in 2023. So after the beginning of the time period surveyed. So if the effect started in 2022, how did it mm -hmm. peak a year later? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, and we're only talking about 671,000 units in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, Co-author uh, Gillingham, an environmental and ecology, energy economics professor, said Tesla could have managed the higher output. They could have. They could have. I don't know if they could have. That's a lot of extra units. Tesla had plans with sales even above our counterfactual sales impacts. Um, yeah. So, uh, mm. yeah, that's that's the whole gist of it. Thoughts on that? How crazy are they? Uh, again, if you don't see the study, it's hard to know. What they're doing but we know again i don't want to make assumptions that this is par for the course you have a lot of journalists lots of um people want to say things and they're just making things up you and i you've made a living <laughs> that's your job you've done such a good job of that basically showing all the false things that are out there 
and the vast majority is anti-Tesla, anti-Elon. So did, could Elon and Tesla, Elon's political activities impact sales? Absolutely. Makes a ton of sense. I can see people, I, I know my own family members and others who have said he has crossed the moral line. There's a line here that I cannot do no matter how great the car is and all that. And then the others have said, though, that there's a two-way scenario. Like if he's political, then there's two sides. There's the Democrats and Republicans. At one point, a lot of Republicans won't buy the car because they are anti-EV, they're anti-environment, they're anti... But the Democrats love this because this was good for the environment. And then this happened and he switched it. Then, so that while you lost Democrat support, I don't know to what extent you gained Republican who says, I want to buy this now. So to, to de determine how much was actually impacted, it's really hard to say. I'm, I don't think it's zero, but I think at this point today, we look back and I think we're at, my, my conclusion is that it wasn't zero, but it's certainly not as high yes. as everybody said, the fall, you know, everything's gonna crash. Like in Europe, for example, it's a very good example of what happened there. Yes, Germany was severely impacted, but why? Well, because Germany has massive economic uh, issues happen to them, but also because the way that cars are bought in Germany, I think 60% of it is through fleet sales to companies, not to, to consumers. So I can see how they might have made that decision because they're very a political decision. I can see that. But it turned out that all of these people who were saying the last six months, the last year, the sales have fallen and it's because of his political activities. It's anti-Tesla, anti-Elon. If only Elon didn't do this. What we learn now is that, uh, as Jeff Lutz has been saying, what, like six months ago, when you saw these f sales numbers falling, and he goes, well, the Model Y, sh the new Model Y should have already been coming there, and nobody's buying that. Well, he went online, and he tried to look at each country in Europe and say, is there inventory? And there's no inventory. So how can you buy a car, the new Model Y, if it's not there yet? And people just didn't believe that it would take them, you know, several months to finally catch up. So now we know that the Model Y today is actually the leading number one uh, sales car again. Again, it's just one month. September was the first month of the last nine months that is now number one. I don't know if this is a one-off. But anyways, it just shows that there's a lot of reasons why sales were down. You can't make the assumption that it was all because of this one reason. And it's turning from, from that, it's turning out that it wasn't necessarily... The, the reason why the car sales fell was mostly because of the transition to the new Model Y. They shut down factories. All four factories were shut down. That's the most impact. And then maybe a little bit of, you know, some of this brand damage. That's my analysis. I will tell you the brand damage doesn't exist in China. I asked a right. whole lot of people, a whole lot of questions, and they just were not tuned into that. It doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be something that permeates the, uh, iron, mm -hmm. the, uh, great firewall of China. Um, the, then you've got, uh, Europe where we have seen, uh, I've talked with a number of Tesla content producers from Europe, from Germany, David from Tesla Vel to Jan from Tesla Fix uh, and others. And they've said, oh, yeah, brand damage is absolutely real, but there's a limit to how much it matters. And what we saw, what was it, two years ago now, three years ago, when Tesla cut U.S. prices by $5,000, the sentiment on Reddit, which despises Elon, was, boy, that guy is a real jerk, but five grand. Whew, that's it. I'll consider it now. If your car is better, hopefully that's the approach you can take. Um, you and I live in the Northwest. Um, we don't drive cyber trucks. I never get negative attention for having a Tesla. I would say not once, not ever. Um, I don't know if you've had a similar experience, have you? Not to me, but certainly I know family who was very much during that period of what, three, six months ago, earlier this year, everybody who thought the sky was falling, they would just key you, they would scream at you, they would burn you. That was the sentiment, but it changed and it's no longer the case today. Mm. But you know how, but at that time people thought it's over for Tesla. Nobody's ever going to buy a Tesla car anymore. Like, just remember, these are fleeting. So yes, while there was brand damage, I don't know if that exists anymore. Uh, I would argue it, it definitely does to some extent, but like you said, it, it's not zero, but it's a lot closer to zero than it is to 1.26 million. million. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, and 
I think the financial show we're doing reasonably well. Um, could it have been better? I mean, always look at any, look at the best game ever played in history and you can still Monday morning quarterback it and say how you could have done a little better. Uh, but who knows? Uh, I think it's uh, fun. We have fun here, Herbert. You know where else we have fun? Where? In Austin. Austin. Bastrop. <laughs> Next week, Bastrop. Herbert and I will be there at the after show, after the shareholders meeting, uh, hosted by the uh, Tesla Owners Club of Austin with Matt and Anwar Beck. Great guys who put in a lot of work to make the community a lot more fun. Huge thanks to Josh West, who apparently was instrumental in getting uh, the boring company to let us use the bodega for the party. Huge fun. All, all great people. Guys in the comments, what did we miss? What do we misunderstand? I don't know. I'm asking. Everybody else, uh, head over to a brighter, see what he's up to, and stay tuned. Stay juicy. I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in Texas.